구글 이 한국에서는 아직 생소한 업체인데 여기 이 AI로 투자를 분석할 수 있는 플랫폼의 유명한 업체 중에 하나입니다. 그래서 오늘 이 비즈니스 디벨로먼트 헤드 이 RJ 오늘 만나뵙습니다. Hi RJ, nice to meet you. Mm, pleasure to meet you. Yeah, actually the Togo is quite famous in Wall Street, but not in Korea yeah, for the time being. So could you briefly introduce the what is Togo uh, and uh, what kind of platform you guys develop? Of course, yes. Uh, Toggle is a data analytics platform that takes in a tremendous amount of data and analyzes it for you. Mm -hmm. So you can sort of think of it like uh, an investing assistant, mm -hmm. which never sleeps. <laughs> it just mm -hmm. looks at everything that's happening in the world and then helps you understand mm -hmm. what you should be paying attention to, where there might be opportunities, gives you trade ideas, mm -hmm. and sort of everything in between. What kind of company use this platform or could you just take on any example the which company use of this? Of course, yeah. So a lot of us um, started our careers in investment management. So mm -hmm. I started my career uh, managing money at Alliance Bernstein. Two of the co-founders also were, were investment officers at uh, very large institutions like Brevin Howard and Fortress and um, Lombard Odier. And really that same institutional DNA is in uh, the platform that everyone has access to. So we have a number of very large hedge funds, uh, many of whom are some of the most famous hedge funds in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we have private banks, we have asset managers, and then we have you know, people who trade even 500 US dollars mm -hmm. and sort of everyone in between using all the same platform. And uh, does AI uh, pick up a particular stock that which is promising or that it seems like good? in the future? Yes, mm -hmm. that's exactly sort mm -hmm. of how you can think of it. So mm -hmm. imagine uh, McDonald's releases earnings mm -hmm. and McDonald's earnings release might affect a number of other restaurant stocks, mm -hmm. one of which could be Chipotle as mm -hmm. an example. Right. Um, and so the system would actually do all of the analysis and highlight for you, hey, it looks like Chipotle might do well over the next three months, mm -hmm. given what we're currently seeing in McDonald's and, and sort of present you in quite natural language mm -hmm. with all of that information. And the cool thing with, with a lot of the advancements in the technology that we're seeing is that that now is no longer just you sort of asking questions or pushing things to you, mm -hmm. but actually having a dialogue with the system itself. Dialogue? Yes, like a conversation uh -huh, back right. and forth where, where you can not only ask questions, it presents you answers, and then you can go back and forth digging in further um, or asking follow-ups to, to those prior inquiries. Uh, so like uh, I, can, I can chat with the AI about yes. the investment thing. Yes, exactly. Oh, Much like having a conversation with the person next to you on the desk where you say, hey, this just happened, when was the last time that mm -hmm. happened before, or you know, what, what might we be able to expect? Wow. So then could you just take uh, any just example or could you give us a uh, specific stock that the, this Togo AI predicted pretty well, not only just McDonald's or Chipotle things, yeah. real <laughs> stock that, yeah. Sure. Uh -huh. yeah. Sure. I mean, they're, they're, we cover about 40,000 assets across mm -hmm. the globe. So we have full coverage of the Korean market um, as, well as, as well as US stocks and sort of everything in between. Um, there are so many examples. I can't. Mm -hmm. I, I, can't I don't know. I don't know even about 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 giving you one. But mm -hmm. uh, for example, something that's been in the news in the United States is Anheuser Busch oh, and yeah. Const beer. And mm -hmm. beer, exactly, mm -hmm. uh, and Constellation Brands, which owns Modelo, another mm -hmm. beer, and uh, the system has sort of correctly highlighted that um, Constellation Brands is at a level that's sort of unsustainable and it's dropped every time it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's hit this level and sure enough it, it hasn't been able to break through wow. um, so far. Wow, that's quite nice. <laughs> and then I just tried to take a look on the Togo AI and there's a, uh, I saw the sentence that you're, you're gonna combine the chat GPT things and the Togo. What kind of platform do you just want to make with the combining between the chat GPT and the Togo? Of course, yeah. I think one of the main problems for investors is that there's a lot of information everywhere. Mm -hmm. Some of that data is in text, some of it's in time series, some of it's in tweets, some of it's in you know, any, any number of sources that you name. And so what the chat interface does is actually starts to pull information from all of these disparate places into one centralized place where you can then suddenly ask questions and, and have that back mm -hmm. and forth. 
I think the other key piece is that because we understand how investors really uh, approach a lot of these problems mm -hmm. is that not only is it just surfacing the information for you, it's answering your questions and also is starting to summon some of mm -hmm. these tools. So let's say you ask a question about Constellation Brands or Anheuser-Busch, mm -hmm. not only is it going to pull that news and summarize recent news for you, it'll actually pull up the price chart, right? It'll allow you to jump in and out of these other tools mm -hmm. very naturally. So it's not just words coming back at you, but actually much more similar to, you know, using Naver or something else to pull up, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to pull up uh, any number of securities. And do you think that this kind of platform will have the retail investor as well? Because I heard that these days, the only the institution use this platform, but uh, not like just for the in, uh, investor who is the retail or the individual like me, but yeah, do you think this will help just to... I think it helps everyone, right? Um, I, I, think, I think for professional investors, right, they're doing a lot of these things every day. Mm -hmm. And for them, it's really a productivity tool, right? They know that they can do them on their own, mm -hmm. but it allows them easier, faster, quicker ways to, mm -hmm. to do it. For a lot of retail investors, Right? These are the kinds of things they want to be able to do. Right? I want to know where is there an opportunity. Hey, I'm looking at healthcare stocks. Mm -hmm. Which of them should I invest in? Right? Right? And, mm -hmm. and helping solve that puzzle of you know, this, this wide range of data. And you might have narrowed your idea down, but then it's still really hard to make that final decision. Mm -hmm. What we really do for retail investors is, is help them, sort of help bias them to action. Right giving them those those little nudges of hey you own you know you own Samsung electronics mm -hmm. it's had a really amazing rise up but it looks like maybe it's time to take profit mm -hmm. right or you know sort of giving them that 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 those nudges to make those decisions that otherwise i think are really hard to come by as a retail investor uh -huh. so what's the the future you guys just draw with the, with the AI because just, yeah, the AI is everywhere these days, but investors don't really use AI for their investment these days. But do you think that it's going to be change? It's going to change the investment market? Eventually, I mm -hmm. think so. I, you know, I think um, it's, it's similar to, you know, Tesla and the autopilot, mm -hmm. right? A lot of that technology has now made all of us better drivers, mm -hmm. right? Because it's filtered into the cars in all these different ways. I think similarly, right, this, there's this idea you're going to have this AI investor, when in reality, a lot of the underlying and a lot of these tasks, you're going to become a lot better at. Mm -hmm. For instance, and this is kind of a silly example, but how many phone numbers do you remember? Right, mm. probably maybe uh, Less than may, 10. Right, like mm. very few. Mm -hmm. But at some point, all of us knew all of these phone numbers because we had to call people, mm -hmm. right? But now you just you look up in the phone. Oh, hey, I need to call Jim. I need to call Jenny. I need to call whomever it is. Right. And there's a lot of utility to to AI that can be utilized to really speed up a lot of these processes. Mm -hmm. Maybe you ask, Hey, I want to know. Hey, you know, can you plot Amazon leading up to, uh, you know, leading up to uh, Cyber Monday? Or hey, you know, I want to see, I want to see how uh, how Anheuser Busch did during mm -hmm. Trump's second presidency, right? All of these things that you know you could do, but are quite cumbersome. You have to look up the data, you have to plot the chart, you have to find the right dates, and all of these things become trivial. And so I actually think. A lot of the, the initial advancements in AI are, are really going to be these productivity gains mm -hmm. and unlocking a lot of the things that we wish we could do. Hey, how did Samsung perform after Apple released the first iPhone, right? Conceptually things that mm. we know should be easy, right. but in practice are very hard. Mm. Could you just show me how to use the Togo platform just for, just briefly, like? Yeah, of course. Um, like you have a screen? Sure. Wow. So this is Togo. So this is a pro version, which is free. This is no? this is the this is the pro version. Um, the main uh, the main differences are the is the scenario tool, oh. which I'll show you. But so um, when you come in, you can connect a portfolio. You can uh, you can uh, add a watch list, and the system when you first come in is going to tell you what do I need to pay attention to mm -hmm. today. So it has identified that Freeport is a stock that you're watching that has some new incremental update. Mm -hmm. So if you click in, 
the first thing that you'll see on the right hand side is um, is a narrative around what's going on with mm -hmm. Freeport. Oh, they have an earnings announcement. Their uh, price is dropping. Um, they have high PE, and at every point we allow you to. Um, learn something so mm -hmm. you can always come in if something's unfamiliar to you and get a definition as you're as you're going through mm -hmm. and how we see a lot of people use the system is is um, either doing due diligence so hey I'm looking at this security what do I need to know about it my friend mm -hmm. was telling me about this thing um, what do I need to know about it or um, they come in and and do idea generation so we could say hey you know what I want um, I want single names and I want single names in Korea, and now the system is just going to give you ideas on Korean names, right? And, and give you this sort of fully fledged analysis mm -hmm. on where are there interesting things happening that maybe I should pay attention to. What are those stocks? What might be driving them? And um, all of this analytics is, is available for every single asset throughout the entire system. The more recent um, additions include things like chat and this isn't yet available wow, this is like chatbot yes this mm -hmm. isn't yet available for everyone but um, you can you can say things like oh when is Nike's earnings right and this is obviously information that you might be able to get um, from the web generally but at the same time it's starting to command the tools so you can see oh what's the expected earnings historically what happens when they beat or miss earnings and and what does that look like we were talking about Constellation Brands earlier. You could say, you know, how has Constellation Brands been performing? And it's going to pull information from, you know, returns data. It's going to pull up a price series. It's going to pull up any number of, um, any number of things like that, as well as giving you the insights, right, and, and sort of uh, calculating some of, some of the data and, and values. You can even ask questions like, um, what does it mean? You know, does an inverted yield curve imply a recession? Right. This is something that's mm -hmm. been very common and very commonly asked in in, right. in the U.S. Mm -hmm. given the current macroeconomic environment. And this is not only going to pull information from the news, but also start to pull up research documents, and and you can click through to individual documents written by banks or mm -hmm. written by. Um, any number of you know any number of professionals. Then could you ask something about the future? Like uh, there's a the next earning of Nike next week. And could yeah. you Ask the the could sure. you, uh, about the prediction. What about happens to earnings? Nike if they beat earnings estimates? So you can ask exactly a question like that. Mm -hmm. So what happens to Nike if they beat earnings estimates? It's going to summon forth. That widget, but you can see, hey, um, historically the stock's been up 1.44 percent over one week, and that's happened 40 times in the past. Mm -hmm. um, and sort of giving you those same visuals as to exactly what has typically happened with Nike when they've beaten earnings. Then do Togo expect the earning beat or earning miss? We don't. We don't expect either, right? So, uh -huh. so we're not. We're not telling you what we expect, but just uh, you know, uh -huh. sort of giving you the tools to uh -huh. be able to to. Um, explore that yourself. Okay, so it helps to just find the find the stuff which I'm looking for, or just the, the, the research. Yes, and things. and you know the other really the other really cool thing about this widget, and um, we can actually we can actually pull it up uh, we can actually pull it up in the full screen view. If we go to if we go to recently reported companies, you can actually see it'll automatically calculate for you. Hey, they beat by 15 cents. Here's what you need to know, and so that will actually automatically happen on its own, um, making sure that making sure that um, uh, it, you're sort of always informed and alert to you. Hey, you're watching FedEx. Here's what just happened, and, mm -hmm. and sort of giving you those forward-looking analytics, right? But instead of right, most people don't think in statistics. They they, they ah. think in they think in scales. But it uh, it allows you to to easily see. Um, you know, what were the statistics in case you so want? And so we look at things like, did it happen during recessions and outside of recessions? 
how frequently has it happened and you know what do hit rates look like and and what is the return profile and and any number of analytics like that to, to help sort of provide a sense of um, how robust has this pattern been in the past? I heard there are some com competitor in this market and uh, what's the toggles the uh, kick point of this platform because I've seen some AI investment tools these days but what is your just uh, the main point of this platform? I mean the main point of this platform is helping people make better decisions mm -hmm. right we are very transparent in the analysis I think a lot of the AI tools really give you buy this sell this no explanation <laughs> no anything what right and, and what we've really strived to do at every point is educate and explain as to mm -hmm. why. What's the reasoning behind what's going on? What's the robustness? How does it, this look? In giving, leaving the agency with you to make that decision, right? Because you know, in the end, it's your money. It's your, it's your mm -hmm. investing, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's really not fair to say like buy this, sell this. Especially, you know, um, uh, it's besides the regulatory issues issues they're in, right? It's, it's, it's really instead giving people all the data they could possibly want, synthesizing it for them in a way that they understand so that they can make better decisions. Mm -hmm. And just could you uh, give us any idea or just advice for preparing this AI era? Because it's, yeah. it's going to be near future, so yes. and the, our viewers are usually just most of them are just retail investors. So could of you course. give them any advice for this near future? Yeah, I mean, I think where AI is really good right now, especially for retail investors, mm -hmm. is trying to understand in surface ideas, mm -hmm. right? How do I invest in climate change, right? What are companies that are being mentioned with mm -hmm. respect to whatever the latest trend is, right? Mm -hmm. Taking all of this information from disparate places and then synthesizing it into, into something much more concrete is what it's really good at at mm -hmm. this point, right? It's really good at the synthesis. And so I think insofar that you're talking to a friend who has this cool idea or you're really excited by battery technology or whatever it might be, mm -hmm. right? I really think using it for some of that initial research process yeah. of identifying interesting companies is is probably a really good way to use it mm -hmm.